the we are we are yeah. our top of the top when it comes to hype. That's I what just, I'm saying. I just love New England, and this I is agree. a bit of a microcosm of New England, a little bit of old versus new. Mars with the zero suit against Apple Reviewer with the Brawler and Gerd. I would love to hear what you have to say about this. Both players can finesse their opponents really well. We saw what Apple, Apple Revere was able to do against his opponent last time around, able to seal out three games pretty in decisive, flashy fashion, but we all know how Mars can play. He finds that one opening, he'll continue to push it and push it and push it and push it. He'll find that ending with the downers, the Zare into the flip kicks, Zare into back airs, all these fancy stuff. So I can see a very interesting and exciting gameplay coming up soon. Yeah, we're also seeing already some pretty interesting dynamics. Apple Reviewer using a lot of the command grab here to try and close the gap, but Mars is going for moves that are generally pretty safe, so that if the command grab doesn't connect, you can still get a punish out of it. Even right there, we saw a nice little follow-up. And the pivot up smash to pick that up, right? Mars recognizing his positioning perfectly. This man playing on, dancing on his tiptoes. After kind of getting away with a little bit of a steal here on the character select screen, going to PS2, we're large stage with how much Zia, but both these characters want to move, but Zia is the one who's faster. She's the one who can chase you down. So be, and the one with more iframes. So the fact that she can control the pace of the game is absolutely insane. And I'm sorry, Mars, what the heck did you just go for, sir? I, I don't even think we have enough time to analyze that entire situation unless we get a replay later He's on. Crazy. That's but all I'll, I'm I'll tell you this Mars was able to get that kill off of a very janky situation and it now is leading up 3 to 2. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely absurd. Just to go for it in the first place, and then when it didn't work, to find it afterwards, catching reviewer on the DI check, and now trying again with those down tilt or those down angled F tilts, right? Just control the ground game, control the pace of the game, force out some anti jumps that can get Zared, can get caught out with an up air. But when you use the platform to mask your approach, well, ZSS kind of just has to hold shield, and that's where Apple Reviewer comes in with that flashing mock punch to clean up. Yeah, it was really good shield pressure too, kind of mixing it up a little bit instead of going for the aerials that we've seen before or a grab or the suplex specifically. It was really good mock punch to mix it up. I'm on the back foot right now, but Apple Reviewer looks pretty comfortable despite the deficit. Gonna have to try and find a way off the ledge and back in the center and neutral air is just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, you can never be safe when you're playing Apple Reviewer on PS2. You know what he can do with those floating platforms on this stage. Trying to find that one option. Gonna go for the jab into the flurry attack. Not gonna work out that time. 121%. It is probably getting in range of a boost kick at a great location. Mars is just swinging on, to the fences. Dead. Watch out, the up special into the KO, and now Apple Reviewer is now leading. Once again, Gerd, what are we talking about with Apple Reviewer? It's that landing up here with the position, right, that pushes you towards the platform. Mars does find the paralyzer flip kick, as Mars does, but I wanna share something from Apple Reviewer before top 16. I just like Just Blue said, I'm looking forward to playing Mars. I felt like until I got nervous at NESI, I was playing really well and I could have beat him if I didn't get nervous. I'm looking forward to changing that narrative today. Hey, hey, and he has the opportunity here to take a game early, but the air dodge coming out and Zia says, barely holding on. Apple Viewer needs one more interaction. Mars understood that he had to get the air dodge there. If he did not, he was definitely going to lose that game and lose that stock. Apple Viewer trying to find an answer back. Obviously, Mars living that time around. But now, Mars is in a situation to start reversing this. Right, he absolutely it. is. Oh, the early is... thrubber was a scary situation, AG, but going to find the suplex back to stage and the ledge trap opportunity, this is huge for him. Yeah, this is exactly where you would get nervous. It's going to be so hard to keep your composure, but Apple Reviewer finding the hits and the back air. Such a generous hitbox, but Apple Reviewer is so thrilled to also, cash it in. Can we talk about the landing pose there? He just... Like, Brawler, when he hits you with back air and then lands, he balances on the other leg, he sticks out his fist, and he just smiles. He's so happy to be there. Yeah, he's in it for the game, you also, know? can I just say, shout out CT GamerCon, Tio, generic, for just really taking some games off of some of the best players in the world, old, right? That's generic right there, taking a game off of Mars. Oh, that does that, not happen. Oh, the Dennis Amiibo. Yeah, I got it. It is, it is oh, a Dennis, okay, okay. it is a Dennis me. He has it saved to an Amiibo and he literally will bring it to every tournament set up. And you bit. have to fist bump the Incineroar when you start the match. I have seen that. Yeah. So I'm familiar with some of the rules. <laughs> them's, them's the rules. Apple Reviewer, by his own admission, is quote, quite a character, end quote. And, you know, that goes from his play to his personality to his character choice. But guess what? He's up 1 0 on. Mars, right? One of the hardest players to find at a tournament, let alone take a set off of. And, you know, Mars has been exceptionally dominant in tournaments and PRs that he's been a part of 
obviously now coming back to the scene, but again, he hasn't been ranked in a while, mostly just due to attendance, but seeing Aperviewer up 1-0 against Mars, and it looked confident too, that is very, very rare. Yeah, you don't see Mars take, drop games like that often. And when you do, right, you normally see Mars answer back with a quick stock, a, a quick two stocks Ooh. even, but and really just assert his dominance. So that's what we're going to be looking for here. If Apple Review can push this one close, even if it doesn't go in his favor, shutting down Mars' ability to reverse momentum and right with the hype clip that he's known to look for is going to be huge over the length of this full best of five set. It's going to be tough, though. So far, Mars looks very comfortable in this game. Apple Reviewer hasn't really been able to find too many hits, but as we know, the hits can matter a little bit more, but Mars does get that first time with the Plasma Wave. Really to point out the change in his positioning. Mars has been playing a lot more under the center platform and on top of platform, baiting Apple Reviewer to the plant to try and cross it and trapping the landing, trapping the come off. Whereas in game one, he got caught out a lot just by, again, it's that inner edge of plat once again that Apple Reviewer loves to hold, whether it's on plat, whether it's on the ground, because everything sets up into a combo or a kill there. Really good stuff from Apple Reviewer too. I want to call out the aerial timing. Mixing it up helps with the shield pressure a ton. The spot dodges are getting a little called out by Mars with the neutral airs, but still keeping it close. Unfortunately though, Mars running away with it right now. Wow, he damage. didn't go for the boost kick there at the end. Instead of opting for the guaranteed damage, that boost kick right after the, that two frame nerf a long time ago, right? Not gonna true kill confirmed there in that scenario, but this one might just do it. Not yet though, and a flip kick of Apple Reviewer's own going to give him one more chance. However, Mars gonna get up, get out there, and force the th three to stock, one stock lead in what just moments ago was an even game. Just like you mentioned earlier, Ritual, Mars is able to take those two quick stocks going into the next match, even though he has lost the first game. Momentum is now fully in Mars' favor. Obviously, Apple Revere was able to get that stock against Mars, but it's only his first. He still has so much ground to catch up. But if we know if anyone could take those next few stocks, it could be Apple Revere. And pay attention to that positioning from Mars as well. Not once, but twice now. When he's holding shield, he is okay taking those grabs because there's no platform to review, for review to down throw combo you want. He has to get creative to find it, and there, that slingshot up air could have been it, but Mars with a beautiful DI mix-up to hold on. Yeah, really good stuff. Mars's combo DI has He's been dead. pretty spectacular. Wow. He didn't go for it again? No, you can't go for it because if you mess up, you get destroyed. Absolutely, <laughs> but that time with that cross up DI and the drift there, that is, does actually true connect there in that scenario, I believe. Uh, I mean, a, you don't want to guess. You know? For sure. <laughs> Mars could also just be inspecting what are you trying to do? What are your habits, especially in the situation? I, I'm doing it against you, but you've done it against me in that similar situation. And as well, five game set too, right? So to build on that, it might not even just be checking, you know, you've done it to me, I'm doing it to you because I'm worried you're going to level me. It might just be checking to see what you're going to do out of it for the future because he's down a game and up a stock here, try, trying to gain some information, take some extra notes for the rest of this set. But now in a last stock scenario, the time for note taking is over. You need to find a way to close this out because we've seen just how easy it is for Apple Revere to kill off a single hit. You cannot give him that chance and he's gonna have it here. Oh, I love that improvisation. Really good combo DI yet again from Mars. Stuck on the platform oh, no. one more time. Doesn't connect with the thrupper and the boost kick should do it here. Hold on, no, wow, okay. I know it, I knew it was gonna do it. I, uh, <laughs> he died off the side there. It looks like maybe DIing up slightly, could have drawn a slightly longer distance, maybe survived a little hard to tell though. Yeah. yeah. That being said, I respect full sending that thrupper. Oh yeah. It's not true at that percent. You're just a little too low. It doesn't really start confirming till 70 or so. But what you do find there instead is you're either gonna catch their DI and you just need to full send something. You recognize that the longer this game goes, Mars is gonna download more data than I am going to get, and so I either need to, I need to end this game one way or the other, limit the data he gets on me, because at the worst case, it evens up the game count, right? This is the game for counter pick advantage. Apple Viewer had nothing to lose by losing that game, and this is where it matters again. Right now, they've only gone to PS2 in game one and game two, so assuming that Apple Viewer loses, or maybe Mars, they might not switch going in, but it's all about the momentum. They wanna have the momentum going into game number four, Obviously, Apple Reviewer winning, but Mars is now switching up the gas. Apple Reviewer trying to find this KO here. It does actually end up getting it. So, to talk about momentum, too. Like, despite Mars winning game two, because Apple Reviewer made it so close, it almost feels uh, like a net positive for Apple Reviewer. Can we talk about how did he drift? He drifted the footstool there past ledge, He's hit going the to. very ledge, and slid off. I've never seen Ian, a footstool sent at that diagonal of an angle before. Mars simply just built different. 
as you said. <laughs> okay, good damage. Not going for anything too crazy all of the time. Just sometimes this is a good opportunity right here. Bait out the flip kick. Doesn't get a punish on that forward air, and Mars, really good option there to open up the stage. And once again, Mars right again, holding the edge of that platform, recognizing if he hits that parry, he gets pushed in a position that Ablevue doesn't get a combo and can find the punish. Which, right, Mars has just locked down these combo routes by not giving Ablevue any opportunities to get them unless it's off the ledge, unless it's so far out of disadvantage, like there again, right, that down tilt sent so far that Mars off the platform again. There's nowhere for him to compete the combo extensions. Okay, this is a big opportunity right here. Waits out the spot dodge, but doesn't get a follow-up. And now Mars with that vertical pressure, just baiting out some sort of approach with the forward air or the Zair, not really finding it. Apple Reviewer with a crazy route on, around, and off of the platform. Not able to find the mark right now, though. We oh. hit dash attack, just oh. up, and the up-angled f the boot. You can see a shift now from Apple Reviewer. He's not looking for as many of these combo openings. He's trying to shift more towards this dash attack, weak hit near Eftel, just reset and play neutral, abuse the fact that Brawler has good frame data, but also very active hitboxes, right? To just rack on damage, find some kills off these tech chases. It's a complete playstyle adjustment from game one, but also something that, frankly, matches up way better against the ZSS, ZSS's style of defense. I would totally agree. I definitely like the adjustment we're seeing from Apple Reviewer. The Crawl even still gets beat out by a well-timed back air from Apple Reviewer, and now this is a very big change of pace in the game and the set right now. And just like Richard was talking about earlier, changing the game, instead of going for those combo styles, going for the Threppers, deciding to just try to play patient, try to find that one backer, it ended up working, and now the damage is coming online, tries to get the grab, doesn't go for an up tilt, it might have gotten caught, because Mars went for the jump. Nair, into nothing on the platform. Mars is having a little bit of a hard time trying to find that one kill option. And that mistech was huge too, right? Causing the Zare to miss and allowing Apple Viewer to just get out of the disadvantage, finds his way back to stage, and now up a full stock, my friends. This is where he has the opportunity to close it out 2-0. Oh, he just needs to not get edge guarded. What a route back to stage two, utilizing the mock punch, the flip kick, every resource in the tank to somehow out outstall the SS off stage. Okay, no follow up right there. The plasma with though catches the dash in. Mars keeping it down to the last stock I, here. I don't want to say it, guys, but I smell the Mars cheese incoming. It's very possible. The suplex on the platform, good damage, but no big knockback. Mars immediately wrestles the center stage back, even despite the percent deficit. The, what? He killed folks. What? So here's a fun fact about that move. The first hit sends it downward at a 45 degree angle off of flashing mock punch. A lot of people don't expect it, it off the short hop. So you'll see that short hop first punch down because it, it guarantees a shield poke Look, unless they're already angling up and in towards it, which most players aren't, right? They're expecting the grounded version. They're expecting a more spaced version. But you look for that that short hop, th flashing mock punch there. That first hit angles down. It finds a shield poke. It does exactly what we just saw Apple Revere do to Mars. We are on the precipice of Massachusetts and New England Smash history. This is history. Almost no one is able to truly beat Mars and or Light, too, if we were including him in that part, too. In a winner's match, to go to winner's finals, regardless, and just beating Mars in general, winners or losers. Like, Apple Reviewer is up right now. We're actually going to go to Battlefield this time around. Mars opting to switch the stage up for something a little different. Boy, and it's almost like, I will say though, it's almost like Mars losing to just random dudes who are, are kind of fighting based characters who wear some green and black. You know, that might be a trend, right? We've never seen that before, certainly not in Smash 4 ever. We need to get the science guys on it. They'll figure it out. But right now, I am still just so enthralled with the change of pace that Apple Reviewer has put together. The stage pick is going to mess up some of those signature combos we've seen, but we definitely will. I wouldn't be surprised to see some improvisation. I Apple. was going to say, I like that you brought up the stage pick because, as you mentioned, right, can throw up some of the different, different routes than we saw on PS2. But guess what? This is a vertical combo character. Right. Just like CSS, just like Mario, just like Falco. This plot stage. Ooh. Battlefield is Brawler's best because not only do you get platforms arms with that short distance to set up back no, air traps Apple. just like that, if you don't get spiked, you have those ladders as well. One touch means death even more than PS2 here in Mars. Even finding that flip kick even up needs to be careful. Yeah, Apple Reviewer just giving it up, basically giving up all that stage control to try and recover, but we're seeing the pretty much one huge downside of the Thrupper, which is actually a recovery move. You know, it gets beat out by the down smash. We've seen the down special, but these combos are still working out. Oh no, he just thought he had a jump and he didn't. That was it. And you can't make mistakes like that. Mars gonna cash that check all the way to the bank. 
tank and you just don't have the room. But now landing up air, that could have been it, but he didn't react fast enough. And again, that these mistakes starting to build up. Now, obviously the big one stands glaring, but fellas, Apple Reviewer needs to play perfect from here on out. I think yeah. Apple Reviewer is just worried about the counter pick, you know? Like, where am I going for game five? It'll be fine. He's not out of it yet. He's yeah. only at 66%. If he can find one way to get a stock here, especially towards the blast zones, it'll work out. He can use the rage to his next stock. CSS is not a super light character, but not a super heavy character. So you can really find that one option. We've seen the flashy combos to Thrupper that Apple Viewer has been able to go for, but Mars just kicking back with the flip kick. Ooh. Immediately going for it at the edge. Yeah, the adjustment right from last game, we saw Apple Viewer look for that Thrupper in exactly that position to stall out out the jump flip kick attempt, right? Because Mars already having to burn the double jump, just can't hang out quite as long um, as Brawler can. However, if Mars baits out that Thrupper, or sorry, that flashing mob punch, as we saw, just an easy KO, easy death, whether you hit the right. spike, whether you hit the sour spot. So great counterplay adjustment from him. Apple Viewer now largely due to an SD in a game that, frankly, was dead even, if not slightly advantaged to him. Yeah. It, I mean, now he's forced to game five. All his momentum is halted, and how do you keep your composure being on the verge, Gerd, as you said, of New England history when you just did that in game four with the lead? It's one thing to have lost the stock because you were, like, getting edge guarded and something, but that's just your fault that you didn't recognize that you lost your jump. I don't know if he lost it because he got hit. I don't know if he lost it because he used it and didn't recognize, you know, muscle memory. Sometimes you just match that jump button, not recognizing that you actually used it and just forget a little bit later on. But Aperviewer has to start trying to find a way in. We're not going to go to PS2. We're not going to go to Battlefield. We're actually going to be on small Battlefield. That is going to be Aperviewer's counterpick in this match. And Mars is already on the warpath, playing so very different than we've seen before. Aggressively, just pressure after pressure situation. And finally, Apple Reviewer finds some room to breathe and actually evens up fairly quickly. Me Brawler, a deceptive amount of damage on some of those hits. I'm really glad you brought up that pressure adjustment as well from Mars, Mars because it's both what we're used to seeing from Mars in these game fires, right? He turns it up to 11 and, and just shows you all of the different reads he's been storing, all of the different cheese that he can just find and hit you with off that one guess, that 150-50 that you aren't ready for because he's kept it in the back pocket the entire set long. But also, on this stage against this character, right, where Brawler is that touch of death, as we talked about, having less space to work with forces you to play aggressive. You can't play that defensive measured play style we saw on PS2 earlier. You have to hold forward here if you want to contest this Brawler. Wow, I'm so surprised App Reviewer can't find some of these stocks, and that surely has to be it. The flip kick will take that first stock. App Reviewer very close to taking some stocks, but wasn't really able to pull the trigger on some of the larger, harder hitting, well, slightly more committal moves, but still keeping it close. Ooh, that's huge. And, Mar and Mars has been able to identify, like, which openings does Apple Reviewer like to go for. And even if App Reviewer is able to get those openings, Mars's DI and just a uh, awareness of movement has just kept him out of such kill confirms for Apple Reviewer. And there Apple Reviewer trying to claw the shield drop timing, but Mars playing with the discipline of someone who's seen it all before. Just because he hasn't entered, folks, that is the type of experience that doesn't go away, and he is not going to drop shield preemptively. He is the run up and do something unsafe on your shield champion, right? You're not going to catch Mars with that. Might as well keep trying, though. Sometimes it works, but... Right now, it looks like Mars has all of the right defensive choices so far. Apple Reviewer trying to mix it up, but now Mars has shifted gears pretty drastically, playing pretty reactive, just waiting out these options, spacing out with the Zare, and running away, frankly. Apple Reviewer is having such a hard time. Even though Mars is at 137, Mars is just keeping the distance, staying out of dash attack range, trying not to get hit by these backers. Of course, I just. Yeah. I had to say it, of course. Back here, you mean? <laughs> yeah, that, that one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know? Now, hold on, y'all. Rage online for Brawler here. Here, not quite max yet. A little bit extra room for that to grow. But at low percent, this is terrifying, right? Brawler already almost a touch of death machine, but you land that up air on platform there with this rage, and that is it. Mars knows he is going to just try and not let you get a single hit in. And these falling up airs, the platform movement, right? Everything, he's only taking stuff over center makes total sense because any hit that pops you on the platform here is just a stock gone. Right. That air dodge was so good. Instead of taking the tech on the platform, opts to go to the ledge to keep yourself a little bit safe, but not gonna matter there. Mars is gonna find that stock. 
Yep, the jump from ledge, ill-advised right there. Mars had it kind of scouted out. Really good punish right there at the back air. And nice use of that stall. Hold on, this is a dangerous position, here. but Mars once again with the DI mix up back over the center. The combo DI has been phenomenal. We're seeing it right now. Apple reviewer cannot find the hit. Even right there, holding onto the stock. Not a lot of rage and only 118 after the hit, so it's not surprising, but Apple Reviewer is going to have to make something happen soon. Mars is kind of running away with it after this big shift in gears that we've seen. He has to yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, he has to be careful, though, because as you get too close here, that Thrupper out of shield, we are nearing the percent now. Only about 10 more is going to take it. We see it there. Mars now knows it's online. But you have to be careful because one over-aggression, one miss space from Mars is going to mean a stock here. And this is still very much in the percent range that Apple Reviewer can find a way back into this one. Yeah. It's just so tough because, like, what is Apple Reviewer's options to get kills? Like, he, faint jump off the ledge? Maybe. You back air? Most likely. Thrupper out of shield? Possibly. But most of Mars' attacks are safe. Yeah, we're kind of seeing that right now. Apple Reviewer trying to swing a little bit too much. Going for an up smash there to try and find something. Not able to find it and holding down on the boost kick. Really good mix-up for Mars. Apple Reviewer was not ready for. 91% is tough and the angled shield too. Apple Reviewer not able to find that back air that we're looking for. I so, like, so desperately. I like the spacing from Mars here, right? Preempting shield and already showing you the angle. Recognizing that you kind of can't do anything except guess what he's going to angle and try and find a shield book there. Apple Reviewer going to miss the thrupper with the B-Rivers there. Trying to catch up a DI mix that Mars has shown time and time again, but when it matters most, right, never came out. Now just trying desperately to find the stock. But when you find this one, you have a whole one more to do. The margin for error is nil. Zero. Zilch. You have to find the stock fast. A back air, sour spot, down air, anything. But right now, Apple Reviewer can't even get past in zero, get past their range. Yeah, it's so very tough right now. Mars at 161. I'm thinking neutral air might do it soon. The up airs might do it, but this is so rough for Apple Reviewer. Stuck at the ledge now, 130. And the thrupper from the ledge. Doesn't get hit by the Paralyzer and takes the stock and the crowd just got a lot more excited. Yes, sir. They started to heat up those cheers of one more stock coming through the venue now. Out as the murmurs in the crowd realize that, as Gerd said just a moment ago, that we could be on the verge of New England history here. Are we going to see Apple Reviewer etch his name in the New England annals of history? Or is this going to be a question of what could have been if not for an unfortunate SD. This is now in a situation where up throw DI checks are online for Mars. A bunch of kill options with this up air potentially are going to be doing it. And Mars coming back from game to game, going to be winning 3-2 to two, and now we'll have a rematch against Light in Winner's Finals.